Good to have you back with us here on the cafe. Joining us is director Susan Parker, whose film Loving in Limbo won both Best New Zealand Feature Documentary and she was awarded Best New Zealand Director. Welcome, Susan, and congratulations. Thank you. That's really exciting. I know it is. It's, it's amazing. It's been an amazing high. It's great. So tell us what the film's about. Well, the, f the film's about a couple. He's, Ameri he's New Zealander, she's American. They met while they were travelling overseas. They travelled the world. They decided they were going to get married. They wanted to go live in America to be with her family. And as he was applying for his green card, he got refused because they discovered that he'd had an illegal notation put on his record and he was permanently banned oh, from America. Let's have a look at the trailer, shall we? Today's the big day. Um. We've been refused. Wow. Okay, so it follows their journey. So he couldn't go and live with her in the States. Yeah. She could have come to New Zealand? She could have come to live in New Zealand, but... What the film talks about and shows is that she followed him for four and a half years around the world. Okay. Because he had this goal of, I want to live and work in every continent by the time I'm 30. So she met him halfway through that and she travels the world with him. She supports him through it. You see the little section in Africa, they went and did a, a charity bike workshop to raise funds to bring bikes to Africa. So, And so she supported him through all of that. And when he um, asked her to marry him, it was like, okay, we're going to come live in America. And so that was why it was. And when you get in, the film goes into her whole family story and the background and the emotional reason behind why it was really important for her to have him live in her country. And that's the moving part of the story. And I found it very moving. In fact, towards yeah. the end, I was highly emotional. And I, in essence, is it, is it a love story? I mean, is that it really is, what it, it is? It, it really is a love story. I mean... Seeing it with the audiences are great. They're laughing, they're crying. I cry every time I see Mandy cry, as you know that bit at the end. And it's just a magical journey, the ups and downs. And really, what is love like today in the international world we live in with, with mm -hmm. internet? People are meeting other people from other countries well, exactly. more and more often now. It's cheaper to travel than it used to be. I mean, Mandy and Hap conducted their relationship by Skype for a lot of it. Well, <laughs> yes, yeah, well a lot did. of people do, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. So how did you get involved? Well, I met Hap three years ago at the documentary festival. He just had his film, Bikes for Africa, in release. And we met, and he's incredibly charming, and we were chatting away, and he was telling me about his story, and I said, OK, so your film ends with you've broken up, but you tell me you've gotten married. How did that happen? So I'm like, there's a story in this whole getting back together in this love story. And then I met him a couple of months later and he said, well, we've had our green card refused and I'm like, oh. we need to start filming. Right. So we started filming the story and we were filming not knowing whether he was going to get accepted into America, whether he would have this illegal notation Gosh. overturned. So making a movie where you don't even know what the end is. No, we and the no thing idea. is, you've worked in the movie industry for many years, but yeah. this is actually the first documentary yes. that you have made. It is. And you've won these awards. I know. Gosh, you just must be thrilled. <laughs> it's very exciting. It is. It's fantastic. And it was a labour of love, because how, how many years did you film it for? Well, we were, I was involved with it for two and a half years. Wow. Hap and Mandy had filmed a lot of their journey prior which I love. Me, so. I love that. Yeah. You can see their entire love story, yeah, really. I'm, I'm, not going to tell you, I'm not going to tell you how it ends. Um, but what do you think makes a good documentary? Why do you think you won? Well, because the story's so engaging. And people, people just love a love story, and you're rooting for the little people. And Hap and Mandy are just fabulous on camera. Yeah. They're so open and honest. And you're watching things and like, oh, my goodness, did not expect that. I mean, there's some really interesting dark stories about Mandy's childhood. They just come out of nowhere and everybody's going, my God. Oh, that makes a fascinating movie. So what's next for you? Well, <laughs> I've got to get a paid job. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, I've got a few ideas. I'm developing some, some theatrical scripts, some scripted films, and I've got 101 ideas for docos, so... And what if people something. want to see this movie? How can they get to see it? It's playing at the Dock Edge Festival, so it's at the Q Cinema, um, the website www.dockedge.nz. It's playing next Thursday in Auckland at 8.30 at night and Sunday 
at 3.30 in the afternoon. And I urge you to go and see it because it is just so relatable, that story of yeah. people having international love and then trying to bring it together. Um, you will certainly enjoy it. So congratulations. Thank you very much. And well done. And thank you, Susan. It's been a pleasure talking with you. You too.